I'm Daniel Poole. I work here at the Spotted Horse Ranch. Uh, been here about four years now. During the summer, I guide fly fishing. Uh, in the fall, I guide elk and antelope hunts. And then in the winter, I work out here in Jackson Hole uh, guiding snowmobiles. Yeah, I enjoy uh, getting to spend a lot of time with guests, getting to meet a lot of different people. Uh, anywhere from fishing to hunting, you're dealing with two complete opposite people usually. Uh, that from guiding horseback rides, trail rides, you're, you're dealing with a wide variety of people. Uh, so yeah, I enjoy it. You meet people from all around the world with all types of personalities and it really opens you up, broadens your perspective for sure. I started roping when I was in the 10th grade in high school, messing around with it. Uh, you know, it was probably went until my senior year. I got my, my first roping horse my senior year. And then after that, I went to college rodeo at the University of West Alabama. Uh, and then there I roped and I started riding bulls as soon as I got there. I uh, always grew up with horses though. Uh, I got my first horse when I was about nine and I've, that's what I've always wanted to do, what I've always done. Yeah, my family, half my family gets excited. Uh, my dad loves it. He, uh, he's right there watching every second of it, uh, loves it. Now, my mom, on the other hand, she's not a very big fan whatsoever as far as the bull riding goes, mainly just because, you know, it has a tendency to be dangerous at times. And uh, my sister loves watching it, you know, she's never rodeoed or anything like that, but uh, she enjoys watching it too. Now my drive to keep riding bulls is just having fun. Luckily Jackson's got a good pen of bulls. Uh, the guy there, Buskin Wilson, he uh, he's rode bulls his whole life, so he knows what good bulls are. And uh, they got a really good, fun pen of bulls. Every rodeo, you know, has a different set of bulls. Uh, Pinedale's a little bit different from Jackson. I won the series down there in Pinedale, the Wind River Rodeo Series down there. I finished second in the year last year there in Jackson. Every year before that, I've qualified for the PCA finals, which I, I've made it three or four years, made the NBR finals of North, uh, North Carolina, National Bull Riding Finals. So really, it's, it's not like I'm doing it for the money. Uh, I'm doing it more for the love of it right now. Uh, I still love getting on bulls, and the day that I get there to that rodeo and I dread getting on a bull repetitively, yeah, I think I'll stop. There's very few of those bulls that are really truly out there to get you. Uh, there's a there's a bunch that are just big teddy bears. You can get in the back of that pen with them. You can scratch them on the head. You know that they're fine. They just know when that shoe gate opens, they're going to buck, and it's because they love to buck. They're competitive. Those are the ones you enjoy. Those are the ones you uh, got a lot of respect for. That have that competitive nature about them. And that's that's the fun ones. There's a flank strap that goes around the back of them. Uh, the flank is where the leg comes up and it meets, I guess you could say, the stomach or, or, or the rear end. It's in the rear end. Uh, and it's similar to somebody tickling you up under your armpit. And that's what makes them buck. They uh, want a kick to get this strap off. And that's what they do when they're younger. When they get matured, older bulls, a lot of them would buck with or without it dang near the same. The misconceptions that it's tied around their private parts. That's not true whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't come anywhere near them. Another misconception is that they get shocked or, or, or the stock contractor makes them mad. And uh, you know, ironically, you don't want a bull that's mad. If a bull's mad and it's mean, all it's gonna be worried about is hooking other people and all this other stuff. You don't want a mean bull. You want a bull that wants to go out there and buck. Yeah. You know, I, I tend to get real excited right before I get on. I like to build myself up a lot and then and then literally as I'm climbing down, take a deep breath and just relax. As soon as I sit down on that bull, I almost act like we're buddies, you know. Like I'm he's gonna buck his butt off and I'm gonna ride my butt off. And we're gonna get along great. We're gonna have a great performance and go on to the next rodeo. And I just try to just relax, chill out and you know, just smile that I get to do something that I love and something I've always dreamed of doing. You know, when I'm riding, sometimes it, I can remember rides very vividly. I can almost tell you every jump. There's a, 
I would say majority of the time though, I can't. I, there's things I cannot remember at all. Everything happens so quick and uh, that adrenaline's pumping so hard and there's so many variables that are just coming in at you from every different angle, you know. Uh, there's rides I've jumped off and been, been a pretty high score and heck, I couldn't tell you the first thing about it. I couldn't tell you anything. Uh, I could maybe remember a jump here or there and that's it. And But that's usually some of my best rides just because I've completely zoned out and I've just let reaction and uh, my body take over.